Hey guys, how's it going? So this is my first ever tutorial on this channel. I know I posted a community announcement on YouTube a few months ago with a poll asking whether I should make a modulation or card dance tutorial. So I ended up not doing either. But hear me out though. The reason why I haven't made the tutorial yet is actually very tragic. I was recently diagnosed with AIDS. Sorry, that was a lie. I edit anime as a hobby, so it's impossible for me to get pussy. Truthfully, I just forgot I made the announcement in the first place. But now I'm on AE, I got my clip ready. I know most of you wanted the modulation tutorial, so today I'll teach you how to make average looking shakes. Alright, so let's just jump right into it. I got my clip ready. Um, first you'll need motion tile. Um, so you're gonna add that to your clip, put this on 200, same shit, mirror edges, then you're gonna need a bass shake. I'll probably um, take a few screenshots and leave them in the description for um, you guys to get the settings in a better quality, but um, either way they're gonna be in the video. So yeah, just copy my settings. You don't really have to write them exactly like they are. Just make something similar to these values. Um, so essentially what this does is um, it basically kind of vibrates the screen. Okay, but this is a little too much vibration in my opinion. So we're just going to animate the amplitude. Go one frame before the end and put this on zero. Um, easy, easy the keyframes open the graph editor and just do something like this just do this um, then you're gonna need a tilt shake um, so I got this one for you guys well actually I'm gonna give you this nah fuck you we got this um, so this is what it looks like um, then you'll need transform and animate the scale. Go one frame forward and put 110. Then two frames forward and go back to 100. So highlight the keyframes, control alt, and then click on the stopwatch. Um, paste the expression that I'll give you in the description. Now go to rotation, animate that. Uh, go one frame forward. Put this on two, and then two frames forward, and put this back to zero. Um, highlight the keyframes, Control Alt, press the stopwatch, and then paste the um, the expression. Now change this to uh, 0.05, this one to 2.5, and um, this one to 15. Now we're gonna add the final piece of the puzzle. We're gonna add the Z shake. Why a Z shake and not an X, Y or something different? Well, because I decided so. I'm gonna give you this one. Uh, go one frame forward, click on the stopwatch, go back, zero. So you want the first frame to be the same as um, the original clip. And then it goes into the um, V shake. So just change this one, the motion blur, to 0.35 and then go to the end and put this to zero. Then you're gonna wanna easy ease the keyframes and get the graph to look something like this. Yeah, like this. Wait, actually change the motion blur value from 0.35 to 0.5 um, and then you're gonna add flicker so just add s flicker um, and then copy my settings well actually all the settings will be in the description guys so don't worry about that uh, I'll probably leave the project file as well so wait no so I'll use this one instead actually yeah I use this uh, and then you're gonna you're gonna make a new adjustment layer and then get either bokeh from crossfire or bcc lens blur so this is the most popular one i guess so i'll add this 
Um, so you're gonna, well, actually, no, I'm not gonna add this. This is ass. Gonna get bokeh. This one looks way better. So just um, animate the blur radius. Now just browse through the footage frame by frame and look for instances where it zooms in or out and you'll change the blur radius accordingly. So if it zooms in, you're gonna increase the blur radius. If it zooms out, you're gonna decrease it. So obviously this whole part is optional, but it's just a way for us to kind of fake the way a camera focus behaves. So if you really don't give a shit about small details, just skip this part. But if not, repeat the process throughout the whole clip. And we're done, I guess. This looks like sh This looks amazing. These are the best shakes I've ever seen in my life. So if this helped you out in any shape or form, make sure you slap that like button and give me a follow. I'll see you soon. Peace out.